In today's video, I'm going to finally cover Gen 5 times 4 NVMe SSD, and it isn't from any other brand than from Team Group. And this right here is Team Group T Force Z540 uh, Gen 5 PCIe NVMe 1 terabyte SSD. And there's a difference between 1 and 2 terabyte because there's difference in speeds, of course. So right at the start, I'll tell you that the 2 terabyte version goes with read speeds up to 12,400 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 11,800 megabytes per second, which the speeds are just insane, right? Comparing to Gen 4 times 4, which was 7.5 gigabytes per second, this is 12.4 uh, gigabytes per second. So this is insane, right? And uh, it's crazy to actually get to this uh, stage where we have this type of SSDs. But uh, regardless of the speeds, and we will get to that part later on in the benchmarks, I do have to check out how is this one designed because of course we have a different controller, we have different chips, we have loads of different stuff and we have a graphene sticker that doesn't come attached to the chips, so you have to do it manually by yourself. And that's quite all right, I do have to say, but be careful how you do it, of course, so you have the sticker straight, okay. So let's check out the specs. So it goes in the Z5 series and it has uh, imp impeccable speeds, that's without a doubt true. The Cardea Z540 PCI 5.0 adopts the latest Gen 5 x 4 interface and supports the latest NVMe 2.0 protocol. Then we have the graphene sticker that has some sort of a, a specific design when we're talking about uh, the layers that you basically attach. To your uh, chips and it has a uh, perfect hexagonal honeycomb structure. Now with that thin uh, graphene heatsink uh, you can place it in any motherboard with the original uh, passive heatsink that comes with the motherboard so you don't have to worry about the thickness or anything similar to that. What this SSD has is the intelligent thermal conditioning. So the uh, latest intelligent thermal conditional technologies are incorporated with the internal temperature sensor to automatically adjust the energy output for effective monitoring and control, which prevents SSD from overheating, protects the data integrity and uh, extends the SSD life. Now the 2 terabyte version has uh, 1400 TBW, while the 1 terabyte version has 700 TBW. Both have DRAM cache, which is kind of logical, right? Operating temperature is from 0 to 70 degrees Celsius, storage temperature from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius. Then mean time before failure, 1.7 million hours. But checking it from the close-up, we have a Fison PS5026E2652 controller. Drum is SK Hynix, as you can see from the close-ups. And I think this kind of goes quite nicely all together with the speeds, especially when we take into consideration the passive heatsink that uh, so far it worked good. But let's check out the speeds and benchmarks. So Team Group T Force Z540, 1 terabyte of storage, AS SSD. Read speeds go up to 8961.04 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 9010.59 megabytes per second. Now in AS SSD, the thermals went up to 57 degrees Celsius. Auto disk benchmark read speeds go up to 10.90 gigabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 8.87 gigabytes per second. And the thermals were 79 degrees Celsius. Now, I have to mention, I used it in ASRock B650 ST Legend, which supports, of course, Gen 5 x 4, and paired it up with AMD Ryzen 9 7900 X3D, which everything was properly done and everything works. I placed it uh, under the passive heatsink, which is quite thicker than your usual high-end motherboards, because it really sticks out of the motherboard and uh, you can see that from the close-up. But uh, let's continue, right? So Crystal Disk Mark, read speeds 11,691.28 megabytes per second and write speeds go up to 9,553.68 megabytes per second. The thermals here went up to 72 degrees and uh, IOPS read 1,000,000 184,831, while the IOPS write 906,082. Uh, I do have to mention in Autodisk Benchmark, since the thermals went really high and above the operating temperature, I didn't get the consistency in speeds. And uh, this is something that I do have to mention, right? So if the thermals were normal and if it gets enough cooling, the speeds are consistent. But when it goes to thermal throttling, here we have a bit of a problem. Regardless of that, in Crystal Disk Mark, everything was proper. In Autodisk Benchmark, we had some 
let's say not th yeah thermal throttling at the end when it reached 79 degrees so keep it cool and it will work properly and this time since uh, i did get a comment about it and i did uh, said that last time 54.9 gigabyte file i couldn't find the bigger one read speeds go up to 4.11 gigabytes per second while the write speeds go up to 3.69 gigabytes per second i don't know if with the raw file that i transfer it would it be even higher if i used 100 gigabyte file but these are the results that i got of course the speeds are insane on this one i mean with one terabyte going so high, two terabytes, of course, going even higher with both read and write going above 10,000 megabytes per second, which is insane. Just keep it cool and it will do the job outstandingly good. And uh, that's all there is to it. I have to say I'm quite fascinated with the speed, quite fascinated with everything that I got here. And uh, that's all there is to it. I'll place the links for the Team Group T-Force Z540 1TB and 2TB version in the description below so you can check out the prices and something else that you might uh, consider uh, looking after. And uh, that will be all for today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content. Thanks for sticking by. Bye-bye.